Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Child, Doncaster born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update where today we're going to be checking out the latest construction from Wolby Belgium's brand new Intamin Mega Coaster for the 2021 season because, da da da, track's gone vertical, we've got vertical construction. Now, the following pictures which I'm going to share with you later in the video, uh, the picture, shall we say, um, that is from WAB Mega Coaster on Instagram so a massive shout out to him uh, full credit for the image later in the video goes to him uh, he's been a big fan of the content he's a big fan of the construction updates we do on this coaster so big shout out to you thanks for liking the content and we'll be talking about the whole coaster for those of you who are new to these construction videos and don't know anything about the coaster uh, I'm going to share with you the latest images so before we get started, let me tell you how you guys can interact with Coast Child YouTube channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coast Child YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family, and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions, which will be saved. Your shout outs, which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video. Also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2000 subscriber Q&A. Also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting. If we do that, I will release Coaster Child merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So according to WAB Mega Coaster on Instagram, from the latest picture you can see track and support seem to be on site and it seems to be displaying a dark green colour scheme. Now obviously in the animation, the original animation released by Intamin for this ride and the Park Asterix multi-launch coaster now opening in 2023, it showed a red colour scheme with the track and a like a turquoise for the support. Now it seems like we're looking at a dark green track for this coaster, which is going to be very, very interesting uh, and will definitely hint towards the theme of the ride. Now, of course, this is supposed to be built on a brand new area on the park's western edge, according to Rollercoast Database. However, uh, according to recent reports, it seems like this will be part of the exotic world area, which is home to the Tiki Waka coaster made by Gus Lauer. Now, for those of you who are new to the videos and don't know any stats and facts about this roller coaster, this is an Intamin Amusement Rides Mega Coaster that's set to open in April 2021. It has a length of 3,937 feet, a height of 164 feet, a speed of 70.2 miles per hour, an 80 degree vertical angle, 15 airtime points, which is the most on any steel coaster in the world, with a duration of 1 minute 30, a capacity of 1,080 riders per hour. This will be the tallest, fastest coaster in the Benelux, which is Belgium, the Netherlands and Luxembourg, and it's been installed by RCS GmbH, who have installed 98 roller coasters, including this brand new mega roller coaster. So there we go. That is the latest then on this Wolby Belgium mega coaster. We know some other construction has been going on as well uh, with the walls of the state, what looks like the station building. Uh, so we know that other construction is going off elsewhere as well. So hopefully we're going to keep you uh, updated on that. But again, I'll say it before, like I said it before, a massive shout out to WAB Mega Coaster on Instagram for that image. Much appreciated, pal. Glad you enjoy the content. And now let's analyze it. So... Dark green colour scheme, now that will give some hints away about the theme. Now, not much hints. I think usually when you get like a track colour or some kind of uh, track colour scheme, then if it's more than one colour, then you sort of try and get some ideas about what kind of theme they're going for. But with this being um, rumoured to be part of the exotic world area or like the second part of the exotic world area, it kind of doesn't really give anything away. Um, I think that with this being on the exotic world area, like on the new Western Edge, uh, but part of the exotic world section, I think that with Tiki Waka and that end of the exotic world being like the lighter side of it, I've got a feeling they're going to choose like a really dark exotic story. 
uh, like the same theme for like the same theme as the exotic world area, but maybe a dark story that relates to the theme of the whole area. Uh, so it's like the lighter side is like the Tiki Waka coaster and all the the island stuff. And then you travel down, you get this darker side of the area, and that is the new Mega Coaster. Now, of course, like I said in the past, this is the Goliath of Wolby Belgium, because of course, Wolby Holland, the sister park in the Wolby Parks brand, uh, owned by Compagnie des Alpes, of course, they got Goliath. They've had it for years. So, this is like Belgium adding a Goliath, or adding uh, an Expedition G Force, shall we say, uh, from Holiday Park. Uh, which is, of course, in the rival Studio 100 uh, chain. So, you know, this is their Mega Coaster. This is their Goliath, basically. So, I think that Wolby Belgium are finally breaking into their own element. I think that both this and Holland are definitely breaking out of the, the Six Flags Belgium and the Six Flags Holland sort of grasp now. Um, before, they, they did it sometimes, but not all the time. And I think that with these new projects, I think that they're really starting to come into their own. They're really putting the theming items onto it. They're making it a more thematic experience with all their attractions and the overall atmosphere of the theme park. And I think that, you know, they're really going for it now. So, you know, this coaster is only a good sign to come, really. So, uh, according to RCDB, it's, it's going to open in April 2021. Um, because it says 04 slash 2021, so I think April's a decent opening date, I think that, um, it's, it's a perfect time, it's spring, it's when the weather's hopefully going to be good again, uh, after the winter months, but I think that, uh, this will definitely be one of the bigger projects in Europe for 2021, there's a lot of projects, I can't name them all, uh, but there's a lot of projects, and I think that this coast is going to be right up there with the best of them, so, uh, and that's not even, that's, that's probably even including the delayed 2020 projects, you know, not just the 2021 ones, but the delayed 2020 ones as well. Uh, so thank you very much guys for watching this theme park newsroom update from Wolby Belgium. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, my name is Coast Chow, keep on the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys, have an awesome day.